Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. You can tell by the title of this video, this is a get ready with me. I'm going to an event and I decided to film it and show you some of the products I've been using. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned. My face is already moisturized with some new products that I recently got from Ulta. If you want to see a skincare routine, please let me know down below. So I use this Ultra Repair Intensive Lip Balm from First Aid Beauty. It's kind of like a bees waxy texture because there's bees wax in it, but it's kind of like thick. So I have to like circle the pan too many times to actually get the product out. I'm going to see how hydrating it is. Right now it just feels okay, but I don't think it's worth it. But I got it in a set of a whole bunch of skincare products. So I already moisturized with the First Aid Beauty Moisturizer and now I'm going to use their primer and this is their Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer Safe for Sensitive Skin. So if y'all know me, y'all know my face is oily but in the winter time and as I'm getting older my face is getting a little bit more dry. So since it's fall almost winter my face is really dry so I've been using a lot of hydrating primers and things in my skincare routine along with you know some things that are matte because i'm gonna get a little bit oily throughout the day so i'm just gonna be using this primer and it just feels like a extra hydration it smells good too the other products don't have a smell but this one actually does so even if you're oily you should still be putting a moisturizer on because your skin still needs extra moisture. So that felt moisturizing. And I'm going to be using my favorite primer at the moment. It is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Because it's hydrating at its, at the same time. It like grips. It's like tacky. So it grips the foundation to make it stay on a little bit longer. And this is good for all skin types. So that gives me also another added hydration and it's like tacky if y'all want to know what i'm drinking i'm drinking my um cookies and cream shake from herbalife i'll link down my recent video on my first vlog when i did a shake party if you're interested in um following my weight loss journey or you know purchasing any Herbalife I'll leave my link right here and down in the description box and we can do it together so I'm going to be doing my eyebrows I'm going to be using this NYX brow micro brow pencil and I already actually just shaped my brows because it was looking raggedy so I'm just going to fill them in And I'm going to be using my 3D, 3D face created by Ruby Kisses. Y'all know this is my jam. And I'm using this AOA Studios E115 brush. And I'm going to take the lighter color, outline the bottom, and the darker color, and outline the top. What foundation should I use today? Hmm. I'm gonna go with my Fenty, and this is in the color. You would think I know this by now. 380, and this is the matte one put like two pumps on my hand because not that many pumps come out and I feel like this shade is a little light even though it does oxidize I'm gonna just add the littlest amount of the Juvia's Place Ooh. 
I'm gonna add the tiny amount of the Juvia's Place Foundation and 340 Kampala because I feel like this is just a tad bit too dark. So it kind of balances each other out and I love these foundations. They're like so gone. So you can see one is a little darker than the other. Hopefully you can see it on the camera. My lights are not too bright. Actually, let me put on my other light. And let me turn this one off. Maybe this light is a little better. So one is darker and one is lighter. So I'm gonna mix that on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna dot some of it on my face. And I'm gonna use this Sonia Kashuk um, beauty sponge and just blend it out. And to get the most coverage, you want to blend like in small sections instead of blending it out too much. And a little bit goes a long way with both these foundations together or separate. And as you can tell, it's just like covering so flawlessly. And I just add little by little. My problem areas are my chin. So I tend to add more on my chin. But my skin has gotten a little better. But then has gotten a little worse. It's like up and down. Like before when I had really bad acne. It was like all over. Right now I'm having like hormonal breakouts. I have a little bit here and a little bit on my chin. So I want to cover that up. I want to look as flawless as possible. And I'm just putting the remainder on my face. And I really love this sponge because it's very big and it covers so much surface area and it makes it full coverage. I like this sponge. Actually, this is my favorite sponge. I like it more than the Beauty Bender and the Real Techniques sponge. And see, you could tell like it just gave me like a flawless coverage. So I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Concealer in number 12. And I'm going to put this a little bit underneath my eyes. On the sides of my mouth. And my forehead a little bit. On the bridge of my nose. Then I'm going to go on top with this Dermacol Film Studio brand makeup coverage. I got this a while ago, like on Amazon. It was like a studio coverage, uh, like foundation concealer that was supposed to be really full, full coverage, but it ended up being too light. So I use it as like a highlight. Then I'm gonna take the same sponge and blend it out. underneath my eyes and I'm also putting it on my eyelid as like a um, eyeshadow primer Then I'm going to set the highlight with a powder. I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup powder. And I have some of it mixed with the Ben Nye Topaz powder in here already. So I'm just going to place that underneath my eyes.
And then I'm going to put some on my eyelid just to set the concealer on my eyelid so it doesn't crease. And I don't really like to bake, so I'm just going to wipe it off. And I love that powder. It makes my under eyes look smooth. My skin looks smooth. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix and NC45. And I'm using it on a Real Techniques Instapop face brush. I just put it everywhere. I didn't put the Sasha Buttercup. And kind of like blend the two out as well. And put some a little bit on my brows to set that. And just blend it in. To contour, I'm going to use this Black Radiance Press Powder. This is in Black Coffee. And this is my favorite contour powder. I actually hit pan. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. brush. And you just want to put a little bit. And put it on where you want to contour your cheeks. And it just gives that very nice brown color. But it's not too muddy. And I don't want it too like structured, so I just diffuse it out. Put some across my hairline to conceal my forehead and on my jawline. And I put a little bit on the sides of my nose. For blush, I'm going to use my favorite Always Spicy from e.l.f. This is what it looks like. I'm going to use my favorite uh, blush brush. This is from Real Techniques as well. And this is the Multitask brush. And I'm just going to put it above my contour. And I think this is just the best color. Just adds like a little bit of like flush to your face. It doesn't look too harsh. So actually I'm going to set my face and then add the highlight. So I'm going to use this Maybelline Master Fix setting spray. And then I'm going to use my favorite highlight that I got in last month's BoxyCharm box. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. And I'm going to use my favorite highlight brush and put it on the tops of my cheeks. And you see that? That shit is blinding. And to put it above my brows, Cupid bow. And this, just so it's not stark like that, since it's still wet, I'm just going to press it out into my skin. And then go back in with the brush with no more product and just blend it. Well, we're going to add a little bit more. So for eyeshadow, I'm not going to be doing too much eyeshadow. I don't even know what palette to use. I use the Warrior 2 palette from Juvia's Place. I'm going to take the color Yodith right here in the corner and just put that in my upper crease. And I have to take mine a little higher because I have a, I have hooded lids. And I'm going to just sweep that back and forth into the crease just to give a little color. Then I'm going to go into the color Kufuru, which is right next to it, just a deeper brown color. 
and I'm gonna blend it right under Yodith. And you wanna start small and then add to the intensity you want. And I'm, I'm using the same brush. This is a BH Cosmetics number five brush. And the key of eyeshadow is to keep blending. When you think you've blended enough, blend some more. And then I'm going to take another fluffy brush with no product on it. This is a number six brush and just blend out the edges. And then I'm just going to do a basic lid, just a matte lid. I'm going to use the color Kana, which is this grayish color right here. And I'm going to pick it up on a BH, num BH Cosmetics number 8 brush, and it's just a flat brush. And I'm going to just pack it on the lid. And since I have hooded lids, I'm going to take it a little higher than another person would. Then I'm going to take that same number six brush with the no product and then kind of blend it upwards. And then I'm going to put the highlight, the champagne pop in the inner corner and I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics number 10 brush. It's just a pencil brush. Take a little bit and then pop it in the inner corner. Love this color. Then I'm going to line my eyes with the Smashbox Always On Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm gonna use the I'm going to use the mirror from the Celestial Thunders palette just so I can get it in frame. So I'm going to put it down here so I can look into it and just draw a line. And then one thing I can say about this liner after I've been using it for a long time, this is from, I think, October's BoxyCharm. Like, the color is really black, but it doesn't glide on as easily as, like, the brush kind. So that's one thing to take into consideration with this eyeliner. I'm just going to apply some mascara. And this is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. It gives me volume and it gives me, like, length at the same time. I actually need a new one. This is getting a little clumpy, but I actually like the thickness of this um, walk. I'm just gonna line, I mean line, I'm just gonna do my top lashes. So I'm gonna take the same Warrior palette and take the darkest color that I use on my lower lash line, which is Kafuru and put it on my lower lash line. And I'm using this BH Cosmetics number seven brush. Just to smoke it out a little bit. I'm 
I'm going to be using this Tartiest uh, pencil. And one has like a liner on it. And I'm just going to line my waterline. And this is a brown. Then I'm going to apply my lashes and come back. So I'm back and I know I look completely different. I applied my lashes. The lashes I used today, I actually had to steal from my makeup kit because I ran out of lashes. Ain't that funny? I use these lashes from Shop Miss A and the haul should be coming out soon. I bought this stuff a while ago and I'll link it down below if I have it uploaded already. If not, make sure you turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I upload that video. But I use these. These are the Scarlet Lashes. And they're actually very pretty because as y'all know, I have hooded lids. So it's hard for me, for me to find lashes that I personally like. But I like these because they're like, they give a little bit of drama without being too heavy and thick. Because I'm not into those thick, you know, fly away lashes. I'm not into that. And I just popped on my wig. This is the same wig from Makeup Doll here on YouTube. I bought one of her custom units. I'll link that video down below. I actually colored it. Hopefully you can see it's a little bit of a brown color. All I did was lighten it with developer and let it sit for like an hour or so and got this beautiful color. In my next Get Rid of Me, I'll show you how I put the wig on, but I usually just throw it on, put some gossipy glued right here so it could stay, and that's it. So the last thing I'm going to do is do my lips. And y'all know I love like a nude color just to play it safe. If I can find the lipstick. So, you know, MAC lipsticks, you know, the name is on the bottom, but I'm going to use this one. It's called Cream, Cream in Your Coffee. And I've used this, I think, before on this channel. I'm not sure, but it's just a brown color. And I'm going to just put that on my lip. This is a beautiful everyday color. And you don't have to put a gloss because this is... I don't even know what kind of finish this is. This is a cream sheen. So it's like... It's creamy. It's not matte. And you could just use this every day for women of color. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment telling me what's your favorite product of 2019. And maybe I'll do a favorites of 2019 since I haven't really been like on YouTube for the whole year. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye, my loves.